Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our tree preschool. Today, we're gonna be talking all about apples. We're gonna read books about apples. We're gonna be tasting different kinds of apples and comparing them, see which one we like the most. And we're gonna turn these apples into Applesauce? Uh-huh. Applesauce. Do you like applesauce? Mmm. I like it, especially when we make it at home. It's so yummy. And we'll give you a really fun recipe so you guys can do it too. So you will need apples today. And are you ready to get started? Would you like to read a book about a big red apple? Let's do it. Big Red Apple by Tony. A tree grew. The tree was full of big red apples. Wind came. It blew with a big loud whisper. It shook one big red apple down. The big red apple lay on the ground like a bright red rock. A worm came. Like a tiny mole, it ate a tiny hole in the big red apple. A bird came. It ate the worm with a big loud squawk. It pecked the big red apple, then it flew off. A boy came. He picked up the big red apple he slapped it in his hand like a juicy red baseball. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He ate the big red apple. Mmm. He spit the seeds. Pat, pat, pat. The seeds fell to the ground. Pit, pit, pit. Rain came. Its long, wet fingers patted the seeds into the dirt. Sun came. It shimmered and made the seeds warm. So a tree grew. The tree was full of big red apples. Would you like to make some applesauce with us? It's really easy. And we're gonna put a recipe on the website so you guys can find it and you don't have to write it down now. It's gonna be written down for you. What do you need? You need apples, ha, right? It's applesauce. But we're talking so much about apples, we're painting them, we're talking, just save them. Or after the taste test, save the rest and use it for the applesauce. That's what we do in preschool. So we need apples. We are going to be using like five apples because they're not too tiny, not too big. If you want to make more applesauce because you really like it, just double the portions. So we will use five apples. I already pre-cut. Oh my goodness, that was loud. I already pre-cut some of them. We're going to do two with you here. We're going to put a little bit of cinnamon in it and a half cup of water. And that's it. We're going to put it in our instant pot for eight minutes. Natural release after that and you get applesauce. We don't like chunks in our applesauce. If you do, you can leave it. If you don't, that's when the blender comes in and we're gonna show you how we're gonna turn it into nice, smooth, yummy applesauce. Let's start with the apples. So, we will peel them and we're gonna work together. So, I will peel it and I will use my sharp knife to cut it really nicely and get all the seeds and stuff out. And then Katie, We'll use the knife that I think is really, really good for you guys. And then you can make it just like her and cut it into smaller pieces. So first, let me peel those apples. And we have two different kinds of apples. And they are very different and they are very sweet and yummy. These are the ones we were using for the taste test and they are so good. This is the Fuji one. I, I think, think so, so, right? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yep. Okay. So we have this apple. Now we can look at the inside, right? So. <gasps> look at that. Probably should do the star with the other one, right? Yeah. 
So I'm gonna cut out the seeds. If you wanna save the seeds so you can plant an apple tree in your backyard, this is a good opportunity to do that. And make nice small pieces. Watch your fingers, you don't wanna cut your fingers. Oh, there's a seed. And with the other apple, I will show you how you can cut it so you can see star inside for good luck. Okay. Or an X for bad luck. Yeah, I can cut it so you always have good luck though, ha. Oh, this one is a little green. Look at that, you guys. Oh, wow. A greenish apple, that's pretty cool. These are for my friend's garden. She has a big apple tree. I didn't even know it. And then she brought me like 20 apples. So look at that. Awesome, right? I like apples. So you're not gonna cut it like this, you're gonna cut it like that. Sideways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the beautiful star we got. Yay! But I need to cut it out anyway, so out comes this star. And out comes this one. <laughs> You're trying to get the seeds out? Yeah. Okay. It's just easier to get the seeds out if you do it the regular way, but I just like seeing this star. One and two, and all the stuff that you cut, we're gonna put in the pot. <gasps> put it in the pot. And we're gonna put some cinnamon in, and then some water. And we're gonna sing a song about applesauce. Okay, I think this one needs to be a little smaller, but all those pieces go in the pot. Awesome. Perfect. And a little cinnamon. Ooh. Mm, that smells so good. Mm. I know, right? So a little bit of cinnamon. And let's sing the song, right? Peel an apple, cut it up, put it in a little pot. When you taste it, you will find it's apple sauce you've got. <laughs> One more time. Peel an apple, cut it up, cook it in a little pot. When you taste it, you will find it's apple sauce you've got. <gasps> okay, we're gonna put it in our instant pot and we're gonna be back with a really nice smelling apple sauce at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what? We are going to blend it together, right? So if you wanna make your apple sauce now, go do it. And it should be ready about the same time as ours. Let's count the apples up in my tree. This is my tree. These are my apples. How many do I have? One, One two, two, three, four, five. five. Hmm. Let's see what happens if one of them falls down. Five little apples up in a tree. Five little apples smiling at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. One fell down and mm, it was good. Put it in a basket. Four, right? One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. What happens if one falls off? Four little apples up in a tree. Four little apples smiling at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. One fell down and mm, it was good. How many do we have now? One, two, three. Hmm, what happens if another falls off? Let's find out. Three little apples up in a tree. Three little apples smiling at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. One fell down and mm, it was good. Now we have two, two apples. What happens if one falls off? Let's see. Two little apples up in a tree. Two little apples smiling at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. One fell down and mm, it was good. How many apples do we have left? One. What happens if this one falls off? There's gonna be no more apples, huh? 
Let's see. One, one little apple up, up in a tree. One little apple smiling at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. One fell down and mm, it was good. How many apples do we have left? Zero. No more apples. No All little done. apples up in a tree. Let's learn another sound. We have learned so many. We learned s, e, e, e. What else? T, 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 t. P, p, p. E, e, e. e. Good. And today, we're gonna learn mm. <laughs> uh, Don't hit anybody when you do that one. <laughs> so, this is n mm sound. And it sounds like an airplane a little bit, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Yep, that's where the sound comes from. And the song that goes along with it is this. Hear the airplane. Mm. Hear the airplane. Mm. Hear the airplane. Mm. Making lots of noise. It's a noisy airplane. Would you like to do it with us? Okay, let's do it one more time. Make your hands like airplane wings and let's get ready. <gasps> hear the airplane, hear the airplane, hear the airplane, making lots of noise. And let's get our magic finger up in the air and let's write the sound N. We're gonna go down and a hill, down and a hill. One more time. Down and a hill. Good. And let's sing the song one more time so we remember, right? Bum. Hear the airplane. Hear the airplane. Hear the airplane. Making lots of noise. And let's read a story about the noisy airplane, shall we? This is our story and there is the loud and noisy airplane. Let's close our eyes and let's listen for the n sound in the story. Close your eyes. Are they closed? Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> the little girl has gone fishing with her grandfather. They hear a loud n sound. They look up to the sky and see a plane flying above them. The little girl holds out her arms and pretends to fly like a plane, making a n sound. Awesome. Open your eyes. <gasps> look at that. So what do we see? We have a plane, plane, making the n sound. We have a girl with her arms like that, making a n sound as well. And what is she holding? She's holding a net. The birds obviously lost a nest. Poor guys, I don't know what happened to the nest. Hmm, what else? <gasps> She's got a nose and a neck, right? Very, very cool. And there's a pond. And a string, right? There's a string. Well, that's a n. That's very, very close, very close. You spell it like that, but you don't say it like that. So we have so many things starting with a n sound, but you know what? I have one more game and that's a listening game. So I need you to close your eyes one more time and let's play with us. I know I said close your eyes, but open them up just for one sec so I can show you how we're gonna play. I am going to tell you different words. I'm going to say nest. And if you think it starts with a n sound, mm. you do thumbs up. And then you can quickly open your eyes and look at us if we're doing thumbs up or thumbs down. Because if I say cup, does it, say, does it start with a n sound, n cup? Mm. No. <laughs> so you close your eyes, you listen for the word, and then you do up or down. And then you quickly look at us and close your eyes again. And we're gonna play again and again and again. We're gonna do a lot of words very quickly. Are you ready? 
Yeah? Okay. Let's close your eyes. Mm. Nest. No, 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 nest. <gasps> okay, close your eyes. Mm, cupboard. No. <gasps> close your eyes. Neck. Uh, South Pole. Nope. North Pole. North Pole. Yep. <gasps> what about salmon? Nope. What about number? Number. Nightingale. Yeah, nightingale, yeah. <gasps> what about net? Yeah. What about a car? Nope. What about dog? Dog? No. What about nothing? Nothing. Yeah. <gasps> What about chair? And the last one, nail. Good, you got it. Very good listening, you guys. Let's put another sound in our sound book. N sound we make with a line and a hill, and we put them together just like that. Let's see what we already have in our book. Let's cut out. Mm. Now cut out the whole thing just like that. Mm. And it's going to go next to the P. Hear the airplane, hear the airplane, hear the airplane, making lots of noise. Good. Can we read it backwards? No. T, E, T, E, S. We've been talking a lot about apples today, but did you know that they all taste a little bit different? Hmm. And do you know what is really fun and we love to do it every year? We do a little taste test. Meaning, we take different kinds of apples. Like here, I got four different kinds of apples. This one is called Koru. This one is of course... Granny Smith. Granny Smith. This one is Fuji. And this one is Honeycrisp, isn't it? Yes, it is, Honeycrisp. So we got four different kinds of apples. Well, this one is obvious, but the other ones, they're very different too. They smell a little different, they have little different colors, and they taste differently too. And to find out which one you like the most, it's really fun to do the taste test. And it's even more fun if you can do it with your friends or family, because then you guys can vote to decide which one is the best apple of them all. So we do it like this. We take a piece of paper and a pencil. That's all you need. And the apples, of course. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, four yeah. apples. So we need to do four columns here. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, for each apple, right? Now, we don't need to write the names of the apples, we just peel off the stickers. So, number one, number one contestant in our taste test this year is the oh. apple Koru. We're gonna put a sticker up here. Number one. Number two contestant is Granny, Granny Smith. And that sticker goes next to it. Granny Smith. Number three is Fuji, and Fuji um, is gonna go right here. Ta-da! And the last one is Honeycrisp. And we're gonna get a sticker. Any minute now? Any minute? I'm sorry. Any minute now we're gonna get a sticker? Can you speak it <laughs> We're gonna get a sticker. Yeah, some are a little tricky. Oh my goodness, this one is tricky. See? Ah! Okay. Contestant Phew. four, Honeycrisp. Contestant number four is Honeycrisp. That goes right here. So, one, two, three, four. Now, for the fun part, we're gonna eat some apples. 
So we need to cut a sample of all of them. Oh, Ugh. so one. And you guys can do it with a different kind of apple at home. Or, but you know, the more you get, the more fun it is. So we're gonna cut this one a little pieces. Granny Smith. Oh. One, two, three. For a cameraman, you know, because I don't want her feeling left out. <laughs> then we'll have this one. Again, one, two, three. And honey crisp. Honey crisp. One, two, three. Now, when you guys decide to do the voting, what do we like to do is this. I like it. I love it. Eh, not really. Okay? So we can either get zero votes, or one, or two, because it's really, really, really good. Okay, we're gonna start testing our apples. If you have some apples at home, go for it too, or just watch us, and then you guys can do it, maybe after dinner. That's our favorite after dinner activity at our house. Okay, we're gonna start with number one contestant, Koru. Okay, one for me, one for you, and one for the camera. Well, she needs to get closer. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> so what do you think? Sweet? Pretty good? I would say one. No, no, just one, okay. So one and zero, zero, so only one vote. Koro is not doing very well. Let's do Granny Smith. One, two, three. Thank you. Uh-huh. Ugh, get sour. Mm. Okay, we got two votes from the camera. <laughs> two votes from this one, really? One from me, it's a little too sour for me. Please don't choke on your saliva. <laughs> so, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Help me count. One, one two, two, three, four, five. five. Wow, Granny Smith is doing well. Let's try the next contestant, Fuji. Okay, one, two, three. Let's see. Hmm. So the camera is not happy with this one. One, I would say one. Okay. One, two. Randy Smith is going to be a winner, huh? Well, we'll see what Honeycrisp has to say about it. Okay, really? Not even finishing that one? Okay. One, Fine. two, that's okay. One, two, three. Thank you. Honeycrisp. That's a pretty good one. What do you think? There's one over there. I'm going to go with two. I need to have a favorite, so I think this one is it. What do you think? One? Yeah. Okay, so one from the camera, one from Katie, and two for me. So one, two, three, four. Okay, let's write the numbers, okay? So the first one is one. The second one is one, two, three, four, five. The third one is one, two. And honey crisp, one, two, three, four. So, when we look at it, which one is the winner? Granny Smith. Granny Smith, number one. Now, which one is gonna be next? We have five, one, two, and four. 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 Honey crisp. Honey crisp is second. Now, third one is gonna be what? Koru or Fuji? Uh, Fuji. Fuji. And last one, mm. I'm sorry. Last one is Koru this year. And there you have it, a very simple taste test. And we're not gonna waste those apples, we're gonna eat them, or better yet, we're gonna make some applesauce later. Let's sing a little song about the life cycle of an apple. And the apple tree will start with a little seed and then it will grow into the big tree. We're gonna do it twice so you guys can join us, okay? 
it's a very easy one and I'm pretty sure you will know the tune because it is an itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Let's start. Can you put up your fingers with a little seed in it? Yeah? Let's pretend we have an apple seed in there and let's get started. Once a little apple seed was planted in the ground, down came the raindrops falling all around, out came the bright sun as bright as it could be, and then the little apple seed grew up to be a tree. See, it's not difficult, is it? Let's do it one more time. Let's plant one more apple tree. Let's put up our seed and let's plant it in the ground. Once a little apple seed was planted in the ground Down came the raindrops falling all around Out came the bright sun as bright as it could be And then the little apple seed grew up to be a tree See? We grew two apple trees! So awesome! Let's do some yoga. Let's stand up. Make sure we have lots of room around us. And before we start, let's make a bowl of hot applesauce. Mmm, yeah. So we got a bowl of hot applesauce. We're gonna put it on our face and we're gonna take a deep breath in because it smells so good. Mmm, it smells so good, but it's so hot, so you're gonna blow at it. <gasps> One big long blow and smell it and blow at it. Wait one last time in and out. Awesome. We are gonna pretend we are a little apple seed. So let's go down on the floor and make ourselves tiny. We are a tiny little apple seed. Now it's raining. We can see the sunshine. It's slowly waking us up and we are getting up and up and up and we have a little sprout there. We have a little seedling and it's growing into a bigger and bigger tree. Let's stand up. Mm, it's a pretty big tree now. We can see the big branches going up, 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 and we're on our tippy toes, tippy toes. We spread our fingers. <gasps> we have big branches. Oh, what do I see? There's apples up on the tree. Let's pick them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stall, stay nice and tall. What we got are apples. Let's eat them. Um, yum, 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 yum. When you eat your apples, what do you find inside? Seeds. Or we can plant them again. You know what? Let's plant something different though. What tree could we plant? Peach. Peach. Let's plant a peach tree. Okay, let's eat a big peach. Let's take the big seed out and let's plant it. Now we're gonna pretend we are the seed. So we're gonna make ourselves pretty tiny. We're sleeping. And then the rain and the sunshine and the warmth is gonna wake us up again. And we're waking up, <laughs> waking up, there you go. <laughs> and we're growing and growing. We get on our feet, we get on our tippy toes. We put our hands up, up, up in the sky. We stay nice and strong, we balance. And we pick the big juicy peaches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten peaches, and we're gonna eat them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's plant the seeds again. And we can grow more trees. You can do this, guys. You can plant a pear tree, a plum tree, a cherry tree, whatever you guys want, you can plant a whole orchard. Okay, namaste. Today's art is going to be all about apples. So if you found an apple that didn't really look nice, you know, making the applesauce, you can use it now or just put one aside and we're gonna paint with it. We're gonna paint with an apple. How cool is that, right? So what do we need? We need some leaves, some nice fresh leaves. Then 
we need some oil pastels. I think chalk or crayon would work too, but we like oil pastels for this project. And then some papers. Now, we have a big one. You don't need this big one, but if you have it, awesome. So the paper doesn't, this one cannot be thick. So you don't want a watercolor paper for this one, okay? One paper needs to be like a printer paper or a big one like that. Then one paper can be watercolor and would actually be good if it was watercolor. And then just a construction paper, brown or black, or you know, even an old paper bag would be awesome for this one. Then we just need some glue. If you have a string, that will be cute, but not necessary. You can use a Sharpie as well. And for the apple, we need a knife and probably a fork and paint. You need paint. <laughs> Let's start with the background. So we're gonna put a construction and a watercolor paper away for a sec. And we're gonna use the big or small thin paper. We're gonna put leaves underneath it. I know, doesn't it sound weird? So the only important thing is you need to put them the bumpy side up, okay? So they have a smooth side and a bumpy one. So we're gonna put them up like that. And I don't wanna put just one there. I wanna put a lot of them there. See, the beautiful maple leaves gonna go under this little tiny thing, bumpy side up. And then, ooh, this huge, oh my goodness. We have a big maple tree in our garden. I love it in the fall. Bumpy side up. And another one. Oh, this one is really cool. Bumpy side up over here. We can always add them later, but let's do a lot now. Okay. I have lots of leaves underneath. Can you hear them? Listen, listen. Crumbling okay. leaves, okay. There you go. Now we're gonna use the oil pastels. We're not gonna use them like this, like when we color. We're gonna put them on its side, just like that. And we're gonna push down. Oh my goodness, I can see the leaf. I can see the leaf. Can you see your leaf? Whoa. And a different, oh my goodness, this one's so pretty, guys. Do you see that one? And a red. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, that's the maple. I can see the veins and the leaves and the shapes and everything. And brown, just go nice and smooth, yeah? Slowly over it. Oh, that's a big one. I really like that orange one. That turned out so pretty. Oh, that's a nice one too, a yellow one. Mine looks like a tree. It does, it sure does. Let's do orange. Ooh, I like those leaves. Look how this one's turning out. Whoa. Pretty, huh? So we're gonna color in the background, make it nice. The whole color needs to be covered with shapes of leaves and color the whole paper. Hmm, let's see, brown. And this is gonna be the background for our jar of apples. Ah, huh, that's why we need the apples. We're gonna make the jar of apples. Just like we made a jar of applesauce, huh? Mm. And more orange, oh, more orange here. Oh, two little leaves right there. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm missing a leaf here. Yep, well, let's put a nice one there. This one, the bumpy side up, put it under, and let's go over it with red. Oh, see, you can always add them in. So now I have my background color. See, all the leaves, all the different colors. So I'm gonna put that away for a second and put my leaves away too. And I'm gonna get ready to make my jar of apples. Let's make our jar of apples. We need the watercolor paper and we're gonna fold it in half, just like this. Make it super long and super skinny. Now in the corner that opens, we are going to draw a little sun, just like this. Just make sure it is on this side, because if you put it on the other side, you will not get a jar when you cut it out. You will get a t-shirt. 
and we don't want a t-shirt of apples. Or well, maybe you do, I don't know. But we want to cut it like this. So both at the same time, and we're gonna cut, 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 cut. Ah, I'm gonna go a little down, there you go. And that is our jar for apples, see? Ba -bum. Now we are going to cut our apple. Oh, got it. We're gonna share one half for you, one half for me. Get your fork if you have it and stick it in. Oh, there you go. Stick on your fork so we can use it as a stamp, you know. Oh. Oh. I know the plastic forks and forks do not work that well. Let's put some paint on our paper. We have a paper plate, so the cleanup is a little easier for us. But you can use just a scrap of paper or whatever you guys want to. A little bit of color, plum plum, squeeze, squeeze. And let's do some green too. Ooh, that's a lot of green. Get your apple. Dip it in the color, check it. Okay, that looks good. And print. Okay, let's make green and print. Squeeze, push. Nice. And another one. Ooh. Oh, good. The one in the corner. And one over here. And more, more apples. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Do you see the white spot in the middle? What was there? The seeds, right? Need more? Oopsie. Well, I think you need to squeeze another apple over there. Apple. And let's put a little one over here and over there. And ha -ha, one more and one more. And I have a lot of apples. Oh, now I'm really just getting started. Look at that. Ha <laughs> my jar of apples. That looks so yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my tablecloth a little bit because I kind of went overzealous and printed on my tablecloth. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. Now my jar needs a little top, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like apples. I know, me too. So let's see, this is a little too big. So maybe it can be like this big. And maybe like this. That'd be a good top for my jar, huh? Do you wanna flip it yours over so you can measure it better? Oh, yes. Let's see. There you go. And now I'm gonna cut this off. And I wanna make a label for my jar of apples. And I wanna make sure it says, Miss Eva, because these are my apples. So I'm gonna cut a piece of paper. That will say my name, and I'm gonna decorate it with the Sharpie. Let's do a little border around it. And let's write my name. E v ah, there you go. Would you like to make your label? Okay, so I have my jar with the lid, with the little label. And then I'm gonna have a little string to attach it with on my paper. So let's put it all together. Okay, boom. Wow, big paper, big paper coming through. That is my big paper. Let's move this to the side. Okay. Now the jar of apples is gonna come right here. Hmm, we need some glue. You can wait for it to dry, or you can do it with us. Just be careful so you don't accidentally put it down now and then print your apples one more time. So we're gonna put the glue all around. And plump, my jar is attached. Okay, wipe my fingers and put a little top on the jar. See, need to close the jar so we don't eat all the apples. And put this on top. Now for the string. If you have a bigger one than me, that's probably good, but that's the only one I was able to find here. So we are going to put a string here and glue it down so we can attach sign to it with my name. 
So let's see, it's going to go like this. And we're going to put a string there. And put my label. See? A little bit of glue. And now everybody knows that those are my apples. How's it going over here? Are we almost done here? I need to add the glue. Oh, the glue is not working. Yeah, sometimes you need a big squeeze. Remember the trick? Yeah, shake, 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 shake squeeze. squeeze. There you go. Wow, where do you want the jar? Right yeah. here? Yeah. Awesome. And let's finish it up with the top and the label. And mm, 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 that is so good. Our applesauce is almost ready. The apples smell so good, right? Mmm, mm, the cinnamon and the apples, so cool. But we still have big chunks in there. And I don't know, somebody likes chunky applesauce. I like it when my chunks are really tiny. So it's still a little warm, but it did cool down a bit. So now we're gonna smash it and mash it and mix it. And if you want to, I can show you how. But if you don't want to do it like this, you can just use a little use the potato smoosher or just a fork. Or you can ask your mom or dad to help you with this one. This one is a really cool tool, but you need to be careful and never ever touch this part. Okay? Only right here. And I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Do you see the chunks in there? Let's make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna push my button and go up and down a couple times. Starting to look like applesauce, huh? What do you think? Mmm, I'll try some. Oh, that's so good. I'll try some applesauce. Mmm, mm. so good. Awesome. Well, guys, this was a really fun project. I really like this applesauce. So, go enjoy it. Mix it up really nice. Wait for it to cool down if it's still a little warm. Enjoy it. Enjoy your apples. And come back next time because we're going to talk about the apples more, about the trees, and about everything that goes along with it. So enjoy your snack and see you next time.